Hey everybody, so recently we hired a 22 year old girl at work. She's very hot. She is hotter than my wife. I am more attracted to her than my wife. I hired her partially because she is hot. All of those things that I just said are objective truths. They don't make me a good or bad person and they themselves are not good or bad inherently. They're just the truth. What makes me a good or bad person is what I choose to do because of those truths. I'm 32 and I have a wife at home who is the same age and she is an absolute sweetie pie. We have great physical intimacy. There's no problems in that department. Um, she's, of uh, she's, she, we have a wonderful conversation. She makes me laugh. Um, and I consider her my best friend. If you put her in a wet t-shirt contest with the 22 year old at work, I would bet my house on who's going to win. Again, that is the truth. And that is okay. Initially, I really, really struggled as a 32-year-old man with the fact that there was a 22-year-old girl in the office because when I got her resume, I will admit that I was very excited when I saw, you know, the, the date of birth there. Um, and in all of my emails, you know, I tried to seem... I didn't purposely do it, but it's just what happens when you, you know, I mean, it's, it's part of what makes us human, you know, is that we sort of, uh, you know, we, 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 I tried to seem cool and funny in my emails. And, and when she came in for the interview, I was like, you know, I mean, I was getting dopamine injected into my brain the entire time we were talking. So I was having a great time. And like I said, I did hire her partially because she is hot, but that is only a very, very small slice of what makes somebody a human being. And it's okay if you don't have that in your pie. You don't need that to make a delicious pie. But if it's there, that's okay too. Just cherry pie and almond pie, pecan pie, um, are both delicious. But it's okay. It doesn't, just because the, the pecan pie doesn't have cherries in it doesn't mean that I'm going to say, oh, this sucks, you know. And I didn't realize that initially. Because when I turned 30, I remember very vividly, I had to have a real mental reckoning with myself about physical attractiveness as a concept. Because I, there, I couldn't go into my brain and turn off the switch that made me attracted to people 10 years younger than me. Um... That still was going to happen, and it still did happen quite frequently. And I felt awful. When the 22-year-old came into the office for the first time, and she sat down at her desk, and I would see her getting up to get to refill her water bottle, and I would fantasize about doing all sorts of things, I would then immediately be like, pang. I would get hit with a pang of guilt and I would feel like I was a terrible person because I would say to myself, you are a disgusting creep. You have a beautiful wife at home and who's in, in beautiful in many ways. Um, you have a beautiful child together. You have a beautiful life. Um, and you're old now. So why is that not enough for you? Why, why then are you ogling over this random person? And I sunk into a very, very deep, dark depression. And I hated myself. I could barely look at myself in the mirror because I was having these thoughts. And I tried to do everything that I could to stop them. You know, whenever I felt attracted to the 22-year-old, the I would take a rubber band and I would pull it 
really back really far and slap it on my thigh at my desk. But I started having to do that every single day, 24 seven. And I was like, this isn't working. I can't train myself out of this. I have to accept that it just is. And really what led to this epiphany was one day I did a little experiment. I went on to the 22 year old's Instagram and I found a picture of her in a bikini. And I took the picture and I put it on my laptop and I found a picture of my wife from a vacation where we had gone to um, Ocean City, Maryland. And she was in a bikini in that picture too. And I took my wife's head and the 22 year old's head and I switched them around. So that now that the picture, I had a picture of the 22 year old with my wife's body and a picture of my wife's body with the 22 year old's head. And it was awful. And that's when it clicked for me. This is all wrong. The reason why you feel like a bad person and you feel like this isn't working is because you are trying to put a square peg in a round hole. Because you feel attracted to the 22 year old, you're trying to now transfer that over to your wife instead of accepting your wife for who she is and loving her because of who she is. I don't love the 22 year old in the way that I love my wife, of course not. I tried talking to the 22 year old about music and I didn't understand half of the things she was saying. And I said, um, you know, oh, I love uh, Nirvana, you know, Kurt Cobain. And she was like, didn't they have a song that was called Me? And I was like, yeah, but it's, but it's, you just gotta have a, it's, it, it's not, it, that's the, the point of this. Anyway, that's not, I'll make another video about that Nirvana song, maybe if I have to. But my point here is that we just, where there was such a disconnect with who we were and the culture and, and everything about each other. And I realized that the thing about the pie, that just because animals are attracted to each other in that way. That is a chemical reaction that happens in our brain that makes us want to have children. That's it. It doesn't say anything about our morality. It, it doesn't say anything about who we are as people. It doesn't say anything about our virtues. What makes us who we are is what we choose to do then with that. So now when I see the 22 year old's ass I allow myself to feel attracted and then I let it pass over me like a cloud. And I take a deep breath and I say, it is okay. It is what it is. That is Nirvana. I, not the band, the, the state of being. That is achieving peace. And now, I can sit at home comfortably with my wife and my kid and I can feel truly present because I'm not worried about why I don't feel the same way here that I do at work. It is what it is and that is great. That's fine. Amen.